Hi, I'm going to be showing you how to find a project on Discover uh, for a given board, how to import that into VS Code extensions, and specifically an MCC project, and how to understand the versions of MCC and how to upgrade those to the latest. Um, let's dive in and have a look. So, I have a particular board. Uh, Part numbers can be difficult to read. So MPLAB, and might need to refresh here, but I can get the kit info, and here I can find the part number. So going to discover, pasting the part number, can find some app notes, some examples, getting started example seems perfect. And what's happening here? We have a lead toggling on a certain timeout, and the lead toggling rate is put out on the serial terminal. And this will change from 500 to 1 to 2 to 4 seconds when we push the switch. Okay. We can see there are different peripherals. We have a UART, we have an RTC. We're going to use the RTC configuration to understand the YAML format of MCC configuration. If we scroll down, we're also going to have a look at the project manifest. So this opens the Microchip MPLAB Harmony GitHub, and we can see specifically that we have a MCC version 5.5.1. This means the plugin version. So when you go to plugins, you can see that version, and that contains a certain core version. Note here that we have this is the project level. Uh, minimizing that, we see other projects uh, for this board. Let's go back to Discover and download this project. Have a H3 folder. Open. Extract all. Okay, I'm going to copy this folder path because importing a project is basically just opening a folder. So, yes, we get prompted to open the MPLAB project, and that we need to add a project.json to the folder. So, project continues to open, and Control shift p Now, that opens the command palette. MPLAB. So here are all the MPLAB commands. And we can divide that by function, like CMake, okay, clean and build, project build successfully, or Control shift p MPLAB, MCC. Now we get the MCC commands. So we can launch MCC. This is the typical thing that you do in MPLABX. Configure associated project is a new command. We have a separate video handling multiple configurations, creating MCC configurations without a project, um, and creating different MPLAB project configurations, associating those to, to different MCC configurations. Let's just do the basics here. So it opens the MPLABX project directory. So that's under firmware here, and so we open the project. Okay, core update required. So the MCC plugin 5.6.2 is wanting 5.8.2 in terms of the MCC core and upgrading that from 5.7.1. We're happy with that? Good. Okay, so now we get a different alert that we have migrated from an MC3 configuration. In MPLAB X, MCC uses MC3, which is a single configuration file for all the different configurations uh, of the different uh, peripherals, different modules. Um, here we're going to see that we have a YAML file, and we'll have a separate one per module. So our project graph opens. And we can now have a look for 
a particular configuration. Let's use the RTC. Let's expand all and scroll down and we see that we have a compare value of 200 hex and that is 512 decimal. Okay, so let's try to find that configuration setting. Now, when we do Control shift p to open the command palette, we can see that there's a little command prefix um, in VS Code. If we remove that, now we're searching all the files in the project. star.yml, we can see all the different uh, YAML files in the project, RTC, 512, and there we see our configuration of the RTC. Okay, so let's build and run this project. We haven't yet generated, but just look at the project manifest. It's been updated already. So now we have the plugin version 5.6.2 and the core version 5.8.2. And note also that MCC mode, well, we see that's a VS Code plugin. Um, nothing really changes, it's just that uh, showing that it's aware where it is. Okay, let's build. And to be sure, we can also just generate files. Everything good. And let's uh, now run this project. So run and debug. We run just with default settings first, and then I'll show you how to create both the program and debug configurations. So running debug, MPLAB debugger, ah. we choose our kit. Okay, so you'll notice that the default launch configuration is to open a debug session and then halt the target at the beginning of main. So to run the project, we just continue. Uh, we're going to verify this with the mplab.visualizer, mplab.visualizer. It should pick up the connections automatically, displays text in the terminal, and we should be able to change the period from 1 to 2 to 4 and back to 500 milliseconds. Project is working fine. Okay. Now let's look at the uh, option of creating a program option here for them. So we create a launch.json, mplab debugger, and you can see the default configuration here, stop on entry is true. Okay. So I'm going to add a comma to get prompted by autocomplete to give me another option. Instead of launch, we can try and look for something else. No debug. What is that? So no debug. Do not start a debug session, just program the target. Okay. So we're going to say true. Okay, so now we don't need to stop on entry because we are not entering. This is going to be program. configuration, and this one, which stops on entry, is going to be our debug configuration. Save, switch to program, okay, programming complete, and we have uh, everything working in this project. Okay, so that's a quick overview and uh, more videos will follow with some deeper dives. Thank you.